Hey, Sparky, SparkyUOnline.com. I was out cleaning up my uh, storage area a little bit and ran across a few breakers, and I got to thinking, you know, I'm going to throw something up there because of the amount of uh, breakers, the types of breakers, the styles. Um, I thought I'd throw a few up here and just um, and give you a little info on them. This is a 400 amp squirty uh, 250 volt that I had. Uh, I couldn't even tell you where I got it from. I've had it for a long time. Um, but uh, I do know it's good. So, and um, you got various other different types of breakers in here, and we'll go through these real quick. I'll show you a few key points with them. This one's got a magnetic trip on it, at, uh, different settings depending on your uh, ratings that you need. It's got a breaker lock on or off device on it, gives your, uh, your AIC ratings up here. This is a 2 pole 250 volt FPE plug on breaker. And it's an old Westinghouse twin. That's only a, a 110, that's not a, a 2 pole. So when you plug that one on there, um, you can actually um, make a little bit extra space. I, I don't even know that they make these anymore. Um, last time I was at one of the big box stores and I was looking for them. They, they've got them, but they've got these safety devices on. I'll show you in a, in a different different photo here. Here's a two-pole plug on, and i um, not sure what that one is. Uh, it's probably an ITE, but uh, that's a 250 volt two-pole. Here's a squirty 50 amp three-pole uh, type QO, 10,000 AIC rating and that is a uh, plug-on style. Now here's a home line, a squirty home line. Don't get the the squirties mixed up. You know, if uh, you go after squirty and you go to pick up a two-pole breaker and you come back and if you've got the wrong one you need to make sure you check out your uh, your type of breaker that it is. If it's a home line, a QO, or um, NQOD, there's just so many different types and styles you got to check everything and once again once I, I've got pictures of these flipped over you'll see the uh, the, uh, the stab locks on them there's a th old three pole Bryant pulled that sucker out of somewhere but uh, on this one here it's uh, set up for copper and aluminum and common trip it's your bridge bar there to to trip all those. I don't know how many of these breakers I come across. People have taken these off, so they got three th single pole breakers. And there's another, I think that's a GE. That's a two pole 15. And a three pole ITE type BL, 10,000 AIC rating. This is a, this is a bolt on breaker. This old, uh, and uh, GE I think as well internal common trip 50 amp 2 pole plug on and this one here these are uh, what they call wafers or bins so you can actually put two of these in the space of uh, one of the regular uh, one inch style single pole breakers another type QP I think so uh, ITE plug on 100 amp. These go up to 125 is about the max that you can get one of these as far as uh, as far as a breaker. If you go up to 150 then you start getting into uh, having them having to have the uh, the safety locks on them that uh, that you're used for sub panel. Here's the back side of some of these. This is the kind of stuff that you really need to look for. Um, some of these breakers they they may interchange the bus bars. They look the same. You can see the little um, slots that they have in here in between these. That, uh, that when you put the breakers in, they they're kind of like a rejection style. This is the the type QO. This is that. Uh, this is actually a uh, tandem breaker here, but it's a squirty QO. You can see how they um, stab onto the or lock onto the side of the panel. That's that uh, 
through pole 50. Now there, there's one of those little rejection clips that I was talking about. This keeps you from putting it in the wrong size pan or wrong style panel, you know, whether it's an IT brand or whatever. It's the old FPE stab on. I don't think you can buy those anymore. You they have a new uh a replacement breaker for those that are supposed to be UL listed. But uh that bad boys that's old. There's another ITE. Once again, whenever you're replacing these, you need to, to make sure that you replace like for like. I'll, I'll talk that one to death. And just another style. Even though those are two different types of breakers, the depths of these, the width of the knockouts and everything, or the slots, they're all different. you got to pay attention to that stuff. There's an old uh, that QO, I think that was the double pole, the two pole 15. And it's got the little clip in the back to uh, make sure that when you insert it, it goes between phases. So that'd be like an A phase and a B phase on a on a single phase panel. You can't put that in a, a slot for just 110 volt. And there's the uh, ITE three pole bolt on. And I think that was a type BL. And you got to watch these feet, um, the different styles. Uh, some of these are just flat tabs that come out. Some of them have a little bit deeper foot on them. And just another view of uh, not only these damn breakers. There's quite a few of these here. And there's the Kyo style um, wafers, wafer thins. And I just took a picture of some more of the crap I got out back there. Some more breakers. And a few more breakers there. So basically, that's about it. Oh wait, here's my uh, uh, 200 amp squirty, and this is out of a uh, house panel, a panel for a home, and this is actually still good. Um, just something that I gutted the old panel and um, replaced it, did a service change out, and I just kept this for spare parts. And in the next photo, it gives you all the listings, 22 AIC, wire, two-pole unit, catalog number, all that good stuff. So anyway, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.